Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sim Update 11 Microsoft Flight Simulator Helicopters. And we are doing a part two because there were two assistance options that I had actually been unaware of and somehow overlooked in the patch notes that made the aircraft extremely easy to fly in the last one. So we're going to go up again this time around my hometown of the Tucson area and now check it out in its full realism. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay, so now that we're in the sim, let's go ahead and get some things squared away here. Let's see here, we want that. I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. I had missed that these were even there. Go into piloting, and if we look under assisted, helicopters, assisted tail rotor, tail rotor and cyclic. These are on by default, apparently, as I found out the hard way. So we're going to do another flight in the helicopter and see what it's like in its full realism. So let's go ahead and get this show started. Uh, again, we're just gonna do a real quick auto start. I'm gonna get the head tracker going and we're gonna get this aircraft up and out of here. So let me get squared away here. All right, and let's do control E and the auto start for now. All right, here we go. Get myself squared away here. for her to go to idle. Get the nav lights turned on, landing light on, strobe light on. I need to move my monster because I almost knocked it over. All right, let's try this again. Adding some collective. And again, I'm just gonna leave everything centered to see what kind of behavior we get. Now starting to compensate for some of that behavior. There we go. That's what I expected last time. Oof. All right, this is significantly different. Let's try this again. Big difference, big difference. Oh, man. Really bring in that right torque. All right, let's start adding some forward momentum here. torque trim there or a uh, rotor trim all right significant difference in the way it's handling now significant difference 
Much more of what I would be expecting and more of what I was expecting the first time. Here I thought the aircraft was just way too easy to fly as I stayed in that last one. Yeah, I'm sort of kicking myself for not for missing that in the patch notes that those two assistance options were added. So that really changes the game. At the same token, at least you guys also got an idea of what the assistance options do. This is significantly busier. You are significantly more aware of what the aircraft is wanting to do now with those assistance options turned off. I didn't even think to check that because I always have, uh, I have all of the assistance options turned off by default, like literally everything. Points of interest, piloting, radio, you name it, it's all disabled. Um, so I was, wasn't quite sure what to expect there. It seems like the Tucson area, oh, you know what? I think it's because I have my online mode turned off as well. Now, one thing I am picking up on in this latest release, the more that I've been flying it around, is we're getting more stuttering. Um, so it does seem like there's going to be some performance adjustments we're going to have to make and some tweaks we're going to have to look at. Now, once you get the helicopter up and running, though, um, it's still fairly simple to fly. But, for example, one of the things that we definitely had an issue with last time um, and when I say an issue, meaning that it was way too easy to do, was to put it into a hover. So let's go ahead and try that again. Let's just see what it takes here. Watching that forward speed. Slowly trimming aft. There's vertical ring state. Almost made it very angry. We're still not quite there. That's close and significantly harder to maintain. Those shakes are the start of vertical ring state. You want to pay very close attention to that. If you start shaking like that, you've got a heartbeat before it falls out of the sky. So be very, very conscientious of those shakes. It's much like any other aircraft as it starts to stall. You get that buffet. But yeah, I can't even get into a solid hover at this point. I've gained a lot of altitude in the process. Much, much more difficult. And what I would deem as much closer to reality. And again, keep in mind this is coming from someone who is not a real world helicopter pilot. And, and uh, knows very little about the process. But we got pretty good there. I'm trying to keep that building that's right in front of the cyclic sort of right in its position. We're still creeping forward a little bit, but definitely slowed way down. For the most part, we're doing all right. Altitude's still climbing a bit. We're not maintaining altitude. Uh, you can see our uh, vertical speed indicator there. I'm gonna try to reduce the collective there, stop our ascent. And there's that uh, vertical ring state warning. Oof. Definitely significantly uh, trickier. All right, let's go ahead and start adding some forward momentum again. Start rolling back through here. Big difference this time. Big difference this time. So thank you to the community. It was you guys who informed me of the assistance options. I don't know that I ever would have caught that. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it. Again, I missed that in the patch notes, so that's totally my fault. Um, but that definitely made a huge difference in the overall performance of the helicopter. 
Tell you what, man, without the... So I have, until the madness with the servers uh, settles down, I disabled my internet connection or the, the live services connections to the Microsoft servers. Um, they're just, they're getting hammered right now with everybody trying to update, which is to be expected. Absolutely to be expected. So given that, I, uh, I disabled it, so everything just looks really weird right now. It's all auto-gen terrain and completely wrong, to be completely honest. Kind of wish I had cached it. Um, I normally turn my cache off because I don't typically need it. My internet speed is usually more than enough to, to take care of business when it comes to this. And so that could be impacting some of this as well. Obviously, we're running under the Clear Skies preset is what it looks like. Uh, live weather should be turned off, if I'm not mistaken. We can go ahead and check that real quick. I think I've got the aircraft stable enough. Yeah, it's using a preset. So let's go under, I don't know, a few clouds. Ooh, mama. There we go. So it's still not what I would call difficult. Um, but again, I think I've had enough experience with uh, helicopter simulation, specifying simulation, that I can get away with uh, what I've learned and how to fly the helicopters. Uh, there's a lot of things that eventually I want to try, and uh, I'm, I'm very happy uh, to have seen, for example, the, uh, the buffet that was occurring in the aircraft as we approached VRS. Um, I'm very happy to see that I'm now having to pay much closer attention to the aircraft's performance as I'm navigating through it, flying it. The corrections on the cyclic are significantly increased now that I turn those assistance options off. And that's sort of what I was looking for. It was um, the previous video that I did, which I'll uh, obviously have, a, I'm sure a card has popped up to at some point by now. Uh, but the previous video uh, showed the aircraft definitely uh, in an easy mode, where this is significantly different, and uh, I'm, I'm much more impressed with this now. Oh, look at that. It's got my Raytheon. I love my Tucson Scenery Airport. beautiful today. Looks like the stuttering settled down, which is nice. But this aircraft is definitely a blast to fly. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the Bell 407, as I read, uh, is using the old flight model characteristics, so it's not going to perform quite as... Uh, I want to be careful using this. You guys know what I mean, so bear with me. Uh, but not as realistic as the uh, G2 here. Um, and I think that's just, you know, lack of exposure to it. Uh, the uh, gimbal uh, gave the developers access to uh, Calibri G2. They actually got to fly it, record it, uh, be a part of the real aircraft in real world uh, as it was developed. So that obviously gave them an edge over the Bell 407. Um, I've heard that it, the 407 flies very similar to the, um, the old X-Plane versions. So, which still I don't think is terrible. I wouldn't call that bad. Um, but I think, uh, based on what I'm reading so far, that as of right now, um, aside from the high performance group, I'm not going to discredit any of their helicopters. I'm just not. Um, and I'm going to say that it would still be an extreme challenge to beat flight model um, uh, even with this new release but uh, with all the others I would say this one probably takes the cake uh, it's definitely I I'm really glad I'm so grateful that someone pointed out those assistance options Lord knows how long I would have left those on because I didn't even I did not catch in the patch notes that they were added I must have skimmed right over it um, and uh, that sucked because I hate assistance options. And it's, it's not that like they're bad. It's just not the way that I prefer to fly. Uh, you know, they, they absolutely have a purpose and you know, there are plenty of simmers that uh, can take full advantage of those and, and truly enjoy the experience. So I'm glad they're there. I just don't personally uh, prefer them. Got the Air National Guard here. A bunch of F-16s come out of here, C-130s. We have primarily the F-16s over here at the Air Guard. And then, whoa, that was weird. And then you got davis Monthan Air Force Base up there. Uh, and that's where we get a lot of our A-10 action. 
Alright, so let's go ahead now and try to land it on our helipads here. See if I can't mess this up now. Last time I was able to showboat and be a dipstick with it, and I'm willing to bet that's not going to happen this time. Oh yeah, no, it's not going to let me screw around this time. It is not letting me screw around this time. Oh, I, oh, I'm using the wrong trim. I'm using the wrong trim. Oh, Michael, settle down, bud. Ooh, I'm glad I dodged that. That's why we kept rolling forward so fast. I, I couldn't get the, the cyclic to trim aft. I'm like, what's going on here? There she goes. Okay, all right, all right. You know what? We could probably... There it is. There it is. That's the helicopter warning. We knock it off, bud. All right. I'm just going to reset the trim. I think we're going slow enough now that I should probably just take control back of the aircraft here. Take the trim out. I do like that they added the trim and the way that it works now. Uh, having that trim reset is much more true to life. Yeah, you guys hear this? This thing is just getting beat up now. that forward momentum going for a minute. Oh yeah, definitely a major change in the flight model with those assistance options off. I am not near as confident bringing it down this time. I'm actually really nervous that I'm doing something stupid with all this shaking. You know what though, I also have FS Realistic going, but I don't think that it should have a model for this yet. But doing okay so far. I'm just gonna keep circling for a minute until I'm comfortable to to bring it in, which probably I shouldn't be doing right over a building if I'm nervous, but you know hurting other people and things like eh, let's just hope I don't crash in something I'm not trying to put anyone else in harm's way here I can't help but wonder if this is FS realistic give me just a second guys we're going to make sure that that's not oh no oh, where is it ah there yeah it is FS realistic let me turn that off that's what's making all the ruckus I have it set to load by default so I didn't even think about that there, yep, yeah, that's exactly what was doing it. Okay, now let me get my helicopter back. There we go. That's what was making me so damn nervous. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 guys, we're sinking. We're sinking way faster than I want to. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Okay, this is much less uh, mind wrecking without all that stuttering and shaking going on. Okay. Man, now we're getting the ground effect. She's all over the damn place now. And this is what was missing from that last flight attempt. Come on, keep that forward momentum. A little bit of forward momentum. And let's see if we can't... I'm going to try to bring it in sort of sideways here. No, 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 no. Watch your spot. Watch your spot. Watch your spot. pretty well here. Creep it forward. There's the ground effect. She wants to slide through it. And that's the thing about the ground effect. It'll, it'll want to just throw the helicopter all over the place as you start to get into it. Come on. Oh, damn. Well, I didn't want to bring her down quite that hard, but it worked out, I guess. Okay, significant freaking difference between the two. Significant difference between the two. Uh, so make sure you guys check for that. Again, it is on by default. Uh, that is why I missed it in the first video. I hope you guys appreciate the follow-up video. Thank you to you guys in the community who pointed this out to me. Uh, I hope at least let you guys know that I'm watching and I am trying to read as many of your comments as I can. I don't get to everybody, but I do try. 
Um, so anyways, still got lots more things to come for Sim Update 11, so stay tuned, guys, because uh, it's going to be a very busy weekend for videos. I hope you guys are enjoying this. As always, stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you next time.